Okay, I think I think I have ruined a lot of people's, made a lot of people triggered in the last two not a hero videos. Goku is not a hero, and Superman is not a hero. But like this, like those two videos. This video is just in reality more of a joke, and it's actually inspired by someone else's videos called Nico Biro's video about Mario is not a hero. So before the video starts, that's what I'm gonna tell you. We all know Captain America as the all-American hero, the guy who saves America in the time is need. But what if I have told you, Captain America is not the hero that we all know. What, what if I told you, Captain America is actually the real villain of the Avengers. I am here to tell you the truth of Captain America. Top 10 readers why Captain America is not the hero we all think he is. Number 10. You know Bucky is his friend. and well, was one of his friends in, in World War II. But do you know what Captain America does? In Captain America with the soldier, fans are for, were actually wanting Captain America to save his friends Bucky from the government. In the end, it looked good, but Bucky would be under government control. But he had to have his chance with Jemson. But do you know what Captain America does? Captain America, despite helping his friend, he decides to just let him get and uh, what to get possibly what to become a fugitive for a second time. Really, Captain America, he was your friend in World War Two, too, but he, but instead you have decided to let him go back to jail and run away from the government for a second time until Captain. Uh, the next Captain America movie. <laughs> well, he's the whole reason of Captain America's Civil War. So basically, Cat, the Civil War is all your fault in the first place. Number nine. Captain Hydra is supposed to be Captain America's enemy, but do you know what he does? He joins the Academy. Why Captain America is supposed to be? Uh, even though there's a World War the Nazis, one World War Two. You spoke like it, even in movie games like Wolfenstein, there are people who still resist the Nazis. But do you know what Captain America does? Instead of becoming like in the Wolfenstein games and resisting them, he joins them. And specifically, he joins the Hydra. Hydra is his enemy. Why would you join your enemy? You beat him in the um, Captain America, the first Avenger, but you join him, them, and uh. And uh, in the boot in the comics, why would you join your enemies? Probably the spy. No, he joins because he could he could one become a Hydra cap despite Hydra killing his parents. And this ties into number eight. Number eight, he becomes friends with Nazis. Really, Captain America is supposed to be an American hero, not a Nazi hero. Why would he join Nazis? We, you, you don't realize all the bad things Nazis, the Nazis have done. Um, it's like if I, it's like joining ISIS or Saddam Hussein. They shouldn't do it. It's and more we want. Number seven. Over the court, number seven. He also joins this other group called. The Sweeper. The Sweeper is basically a group that, well, he join is basically a group similar to Hydra. But you know what Captain America does? He joins that too. Why would he join these guys? These guys are supposed to be enemies of you. But you know what do? He join them. And why would he join them? They're like the bad. They're the bad guys. Um, it's like. And next one is, the next ones are pretty unforgivable. Number six, a, a, a hero is supposed to beat the villains, but do you know what Captain America does? He wets the villains so he can clean up after him. That's right, Captain America is, since he works with Nazis already, he works with the people who killed his own family, this isn't enough. Captain America is fooling the American people. 
as you would expect, he lets villains flee. Um, well, how would you let these guys flee? You allow villains to attack New York City, which is, is in the country you're supposed to be protecting. Why would you do this? Why would you even do such a thing? Um, number five. Number five. He beat the Punisher for killing two villains. Really, Captain America? You beat somebody because... Because they went, because he killed villains. Do you realize the we that villains are bad? And this was in the Civil War. This was in some alternate timeline. You literally beat up somebody because they saved people from villains. Just because he was, they were going to side with you in the Civil War. That was all your fault in the beginning. And. He saw that the Punisher was trying to kill them, no, killed them, and, but he beat him up to basically near death. Why would he do this? And, number four. So we have proven that Captain America is disloyal to his country, but what about his friends? But, but this is the more biggest proof that he disloyal to America. He watched President Nixon commit suicide. Okay, this is a step out of two bots. You're supposed to be protecting America and its people and, her, and especially the leader. But you let the president kill himself. Rather than just take his responsibility and try to stop him from committing suicide, you know what you do? You decide to watch him die. He, he's the freaking president of the America and you let him die. You watch him die and you feel no remorse. I'm, I'm just speechless here. Number three. As being a bad friend is already not enough when he makes his best friend a fugitive. Throughout the hires of Capia, yeah, going back to these stories, he kills Bucky. Wow, it's, well, he's a friend. I know you've been manipulated by Hydra, but you can at least remember that he's your friend. But you know what he does? He allows Zemo to kill Bucky. Because Hydra told him to. Why, 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 why? It, it is just a whole another level of immorality right here. There is another whole level of immorality right here. Okay, so number two. After being recruited to work with CEO, Jack Field goes on a mission to stop Rem Zemo. When they listen to instructions we made behind, Jack corrected the constructed the dash three revealed with a hail the hydro cap as proceeds out of the Zemo's plane. But but you know what Captain Valka does? He throws him out of the plane. Really? You throw your you throw your prestige out of the plane, okay? Captain Valka. He's trying to help you, but you know what you do? You throw him out of the plane, just so he can die. Number one. The most evil thing Captain Valka has done is that he masterminded Hulk's death. Hulk is one of the most important of the Avengers. But do you know what Captain Valka does? Captain Valka finds a way to kill him. Because he says the only option is to kill Hulk and to... Quote unquote, save the future. You know, what, what Captain, since, since Hulk is in the Avengers, one would try to, he would try to reason with him or try to, but you know what Captain America does? Captain America just decides to kill him. Okay, so Captain America in the movies is actually more of a hero than the actual villain, and most of these is taken from the alternate Hydra storyline. Well, it's really just an alternate storyline. Like, most of this never really happened, and Hydra stuff is really just an alternate history. Well, I well, most people would be scared of the Nazis actually won World War Two, but these are ten bad things Captain America has done over the time of history, and this will probably make you change your mind about who Captain America truly is.